This tutorial will show you how to use the Enhanced Digitizer to set axes in the image, manually and automatically capture data points, and set axes for Polar and Ternary coordinate systems. You can download and install the Enhanced Digitizer from File Exchange on the Origin Lab website. Click on the Digitize Image button and open up the Two Peaks image. There are three curves a red and blue spectra, and a black baseline. There are also hints in the Axis tab of the Digitizer dialog. Use the Rotate option under the Image submenu if the image is not aligned correctly. Change the rotation as desired using these arrow buttons. You can also clear Cartesian grid lines and clean up background noise under the same submenu. Here we will clean up the background. Next, we set the axes on the image so there is a reference for calculating the XY coordinates. Click on the Edit Axes button. Align these four lines to known values on the axes. For example, we can set Y1 to 0 or 0 0.5. For greater precision in aligning the axes, we use the Zoom and Pan tool here. Zoom into the image, click the pointer button to exit the zoom mode, and align the axes. Use Ctrl W to exit to the original size. Set the Y1 axis value at 0.5 in the Axes tab. Next, we will align Y2. Another way of zooming is to hold down the A key. Use your mouse wheel to scroll and your cursor to pan. Align the axes and Ctrl W to the original size again. Here we have already aligned the other two axes and input the values into the Axes tab. Save these settings for future use. Right click in the Axes tab and select Save Axes Setting. You can also upload previously saved Axes settings by selecting Load Axes Settings. We will now digitize the curves using the five methods of digitization. The first one, manually pick points, was in the old digitizer as well. The Enhanced Digitizer has four new methods. Auto trace line by points, auto pick points by grids, area auto trace, and boundary limited area auto trace. We will now use the manually pick points method to digitize the red curve. Click on the button and hover your cursor above the curve. A magnifier will appear in the data tab with a blown up view of the cursor and the curve. Double click to select a point. Magnifier can be adjusted manually or by scrolling the mouse wheel like so. Align your cursor and double click to select another point. We have now picked two points as will be shown in this box as well as on the data tab. Since the first point is not on the curve, click to select it. Drag your mouse to move it or use the arrow keys on the keyboard. Similarly, you can delete this point by clicking to select and pressing the delete key. You can use multiple ways to digitize one curve and we will now use the auto trace by line method to further digitize the red curve. Click on the button and select one point on the curve. Points will automatically be captured along the rest of the curve. Keep selecting points. As the digitizer cannot yet tell the difference between colors, points may be selected in the blue curve as well. Digitize the rest of the red curve and click Done. Click on the Delete Points button to delete multiple points simultaneously. Draw a rectangle over the unwanted points and all the points inside the rectangle will be deleted. We will now digitize the black baseline using a different method. Start a new line by using the New Line button. Click on the Auto Pick Points by Grid button and draw a grid over the black baseline. If you are not satisfied with this line, use the Delete Line button to delete it. To delete all the lines, you can use the Delete All button, but we will not use it today. Start a new line again for the black baseline. We want to increase the density of the grid, so under Settings, Digitize Settings, we change the pixel number to 5. Click OK. As you will see, the density of the grid lines has increased, which means more points will be captured as points are captured wherever the grid lines intersect with the image curve. Use the Delete Lines button to delete the points we inadvertently captured on the other curves. 
We will now digitize the blue curve using the last two methods. Start a new line and select the Area Auto Trace button. Create a rectangle over a small portion of the blue curve. This method is a hybrid of the previous two methods, so points will be captured within the rectangle and along the rest of the curve. The last method, the Boundary Limited or Area Auto Trace method, is different since points are collected only within the rectangle. This method is also different from Area Auto Pick Points by Grids since points are not collected just where the grids intersect with the image, but also in between. Here we can see that the grid orientation is not optimal, so under Settings, Digitize Settings, we change it to Y. Click OK and finish digitizing the rest of the blue curve. Let's explore the Group column on the Data tab. All lines with the same group number share the same axis settings. If you later modify the axis settings, the values of the traced lines in the corresponding group will update accordingly. If we change line 2's group to 2, then we can modify its axis settings without affecting the lines in group 1. Let's modify line 2's group back to 1 so all the lines use the same axis settings. The Enhanced Digitizer automatically collects captured points in a workbook and also plots them in a graph. Click on the Go to Data button to see the points in a workbook. Go back to the image using this button and go to Graph to see the automatically plotted points. Origin plots the points in the sequence that they were captured in. Go back to the image and use the Reorder Points button to set them in the correct sequence on the graph and in the workbook. Go back to the image. We will now set a label on the red and blue curves. Click on the Set Label button and double click on the peak point on the red curve. Set the label as Red Peak and click OK. Click to get out of the Set Label button and move to the blue curve. Repeat the same process, naming this peak the blue peak. Click OK. These changes will be reflected in both the data sets and the graph. If you scroll down, you will see that there is a column specially for labels. Highlighting both these columns and creating your own graph will show a similar graph as to the one in the image. Exiting out of the digitizer will make this button appear. Clicking on it will bring the digitizer dialog up again with all of your information intact. We will now learn to digitize polar plots. Origin has a default setting of Cartesian coordinates, so go under the Axis submenu in the Digitizer dialog and select Polar Coordinate. Click OK. We will now set the four points that appear on the known axis values closest to them. Zoom in by holding down A again and set P1. You can use Tab to move from one point to the other without changing the zoom setting, like so. Set all four points and then use Control w to zoom out and set the values in the Axis tab. P1 is at a theta value of 0 and according to the vertical axis has a radius value of 0 as well. P2 is also at theta 0 but has a radius value of 20. P3 and P4 are both at 90. However, you can read from the vertical axis that P3 is at 5 and P4 is at 20. Use the manually pick points method to quickly digitize one of the curves so that you can compare it with the original image. We will also learn to digitize a ternary coordinate plot image. Once again, change the coordinate system from Cartesian to ternary from the Axis submenu. Save the axis orientation and range of variable default settings. Drag the three points to the vertices that they are closest to. Once again, zoom in for precision using A and use Tab to go from one point to the other while maintaining the same zoom setting. Once you are done setting the three points, Control w out to the original size. The axis values for each point are X, Y, and Z respectively. The XYZ values for P1 in the ternary image are 0, 0, 001 as it is on the Z axis. Similarly, P2 lies at the end of the X axis and P3 lies at the end of the Y axis.
Use the auto trace lines by point method to trace out one of the curves. Fill in any spaces with the manually pick points button and then go to graph and compare the image and the graph. This concludes the tutorial on the enhanced digitizer. Thank you for watching.